Welcome to Traveling Hour. You're watching us live, listening from Edinkra Radio. Hallelujah, somebody. We are privileged to be joined this morning by his very own Reverend Ozu. Hallelujah. And today we just want to talk briefly on one of our issues facing the church. Hallelujah. Not just the church, but in our private lives as well. Hallelujah, somebody. And once again, good morning to you. It's almost 10 o'clock wherever you are. Uh, this is New York Eastern Time. Hallelujah. God bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you in the power of his blessing for joining us this morning on Traveling Hour. We want to talk on the topic, they changed their minds. They changed their minds. Uh, let's quickly look at something from the book of the Acts. It is short passage. Very, very short verses. I think about six verses. The book of Acts, the chapter number 28, from the verse number 1 through to 6. Acts 28, verse 1 through to 6. Acts 28, verse 1 through to 6. And the Bible says, Now when they had escaped, they then found out that the island was called Malta. Maybe your verse will say Melita is the same thing. Verse 2. And the natives showed us unusual kindness, for they kindled a fire and made us all welcome because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold. But when Paul had gathered bundles of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper came out of because of the heat and fastened on his hand. So when the natives saw that the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, No wonder this man is a murderer, 
whom though he had escaped the sea, yet justice does not allow him to live. But he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. However, they were expecting that he would swell up and suddenly fall down dead. But after they have looked on for a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. Hallelujah. The Bible said in the book of Acts, the chapter number 28 from the verse number 1 through 6. But before that, the Bible says that and Paul was on a mission. And this mission, he was entering into another border. And the Bible said, and the nearest place that he could lodge was Malta or Melita. And the Bible said what happened was when they were in the boat, there was a tempest storm. But the Bible says somehow they escaped the tempest storm. And when they had escaped, what the Bible said was that uh, 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 before that they knew him to be a murderer because of what happened prior to his coming to become a Christian. The way he persecuted the church. And so the record was not in vain. The record was still there. Being making reference to. As pertaining to his personality. And who he was. And so the Bible said. That when he came to the island. After they have escaped. Because the tempest storm. That they encountered on the, on the sea. Was not the kind. That they would have escaped from. And so they knew that by reason of him being a murderer, it was just a matter of time that he would meet his own death. And the only way that he could die or the only way that he wouldn't be able to make it to the island was by the storm that he encountered on the sea. But the Bible says somewhere, somehow, even the people, the missionary guys that he carried along, they all survived. Even though the ship was wrecked, they survived and landed safely on the island. Hallelujah. And so the Bible said when they came onto the island, it was during the winter time. It was raining. The weather was cold. And the Bible said that the people over there showed them great kindness. They were very, very kind to them. We were very, very good to them. And so what they did was that they gunned a bundle of sticks, as we may call it, bonfire back home hallelujah and so when they gathered by the fireside or let's call it the fire by the fireside and so they gathered by the fireside and they were telling tales and stories they were telling stories of the adventures and so the bible said that they were keeping warm at the same time and the fire the blazing seems to be going down because they were running out of fire sticks and they were all just watching the fire go down. They were watching the, the, the light to dim. And no one made any attempt to, to gather more fire sticks and put into the fire to keep the, the, the blaze going. But the Bible said that Paul got up and went to look for fire sticks and put them in the fire so they could continue warming themselves. But the Bible said when he began to put the fire sticks into the fire, the Bible said and a serpent. And another version will say a scorpion, whatever it be, it's a viper. But the Bible said this venom viper came out from the fire because of the heat. And this viper could not survive the blazing heat of the fire. And so it came out. And the nearest thing that it made was the hand of Paul. And so the Bible said when the viper came out of the fire, it first thing around the hands of Paul. And so the Bible said these people all look and they began to stay back and they began to draw back so that Paul will fall dead. And nobody want this guy to fall dead on him. And so everybody began to take some few steps back. Beloved, you have to watch the company that you keep. You have to watch the company that you keep. The fact that you two sink in the same choir doesn't mean that they have good intentions towards you. The very fact that you preach together or you sing together or you pray together, you may fast together, but it doesn't mean that they have good intentions for you. These are the same people that Paul escaped the tempest storm with.
and landed on the island for safety. These are the same people he went on mission with. But the Bible said they all conspired. And they said, no wonder this man is a murderer. That even though he escaped the tempest storm on the sea, yet justice will not let him leave because he's a murderer. Brother, sometimes you have to understand that the people you move about with, the people that you find yourself in the same group with, in the same category, you may end up doing the same thing for the same purpose, the same agenda. But at the end of the day, you have to understand that they don't have the same vision as you have. They may not understand where you're going. And so they may not have genuine intention Tell us what you're doing. But one thing that you want to understand, that the Bible said that they look on a great world, that Paul may fall down dead. But when they have looked on and look on and look on, and they have held their breath and they could not hold their breath anymore. The Bible said they changed their mind. Beloved, the enemy will change his mind towards you. The people that are looking for your downfall will change their mind. It is very, very common for you to see the same group of people in the church in your personal life, in your family, at workplaces, you may be in the same group, in the same category, doing the same thing over and over and over and over for so many years. People that you know for so such a long time, but at the end of the day, it baffles the mind tremendously how you end up realizing that these people do not have genuine mind for you. Hallelujah. Amen. These people do not have genuine mind. And one thing that you have to understand that you cannot hold them because sometimes the vision that you have is different from the vision that they have. That when God called you for an assignment and a purpose, they were not there. And sometimes your calling and your mission, your vision is so much great that it is such a threat to them that the only way that they could uh, 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 subdue is to conspire against you. These are the same people that Paul escaped the tempest storm with. They came onto the island. But the Bible said that they said that no wonder this man is a murderer. This man is a murderer. You know, and what, what, one thing that we need to understand also is that you living in such a group or living within people, one thing that you have to understand is that you have to understand and le understand the timings of God in your life. And one thing that I always say is that the seasons and the timings are apportioned to every activity under the sun, as Ecclesiastes said, that there is time for everything. And that one thing that... Uh, 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 you know, I've come to understand that in ministry, especially in ministry, that sometimes it, it, it seems like a competition when you are in the same group with people. If you find yourself within the same environment or in the same church, the same people that you sing with in the choir, they might think that you are competing with them. You might be in ministry with people, but at the end of the day, it's, they, they might handle the, the issue. When issue arises, they might uh, handle an issue as see you are in for a competition. So for sometimes, a year more boss It's really true. Even among the pastors, the leaders that we are looking up to them, that sometimes they are the people that that ginger us, that give us the vim or motivate us that we also need to take up the same mantle as they have been taking, leading us. So much confusion among them, fighting each other, cursing each other. So it makes religion look as if that it's kind of bad organization on this earth at this time. So the religion is losing its ground and if, uh, like I said, the pastors, they need to work hard. If they think that they are doing the work of God, or sooner or later, there will be no more people going to church. Mm. Because looking at things, because they, they are fighting, the leaders leading us are fighting. We don't get along. I am the senior pastor. 
you are the man whatever so it's, it's it's very very tough message that you're preaching so man of god go on I, i'm putting some some points down here mm. Mm. And so the Bible said when Paul escaped and came onto the island, you know, it, it, Paul was in the group of these people. The people that set up the fire for them to keep their body warm because of the cold. Now, no one would go and, and, and get sticks for the firewood. But somewhere, somehow, when Paul made the way to go get some fire sticks into the fire to keep everybody warm, now, the best thing that they could have done is to rush and help the viper or, or help him with the viper that wrapped around his hand, that fastened around his hand. But one thing that happened over there was that they all stepped back. Everyone was drawing back, watching up. You know, sometimes you, you, you take an initiative at church, you, you take an initiative at your workplace, in your family. You're just looking for the good, you're looking for the, the, the better part for everyone in the community, inside the group. But somewhere, somehow, your, your good intentions might not always be taken for goodness. A dream partner who was a told the beer said, Who per se, Obiana and Moa Audi and Moa Air Bano, Ebiana, a Gia Woody, a dream partner, and that would trim a Woody Bano. It's not the way that it is received. Sometimes the reception alone will turn you off. Now, Bible say, and more Obia and your Yakupo Juma Biara Biara, or say, Numia and Kanya or your Yakupo Juma Biara Biara, but say, would the a Botabia too in this so, say, Who per se, a Dewe and Coso. And I say you trying to handle some aspect of a church. I hope I say sa aspect no. I was sorry him. But somewhere somehow it is not just a trade to the people that are around you. But then because a yes a wo and I would decide to buy it. I would not start this initiative. The reception to the initiative will not be great. Even though at the end of the day, if they buy into that vision and that idea, it will end up benefiting everybody at the end of the day because it is the work, the body of Christ. So I would, I would say, what two who say, who yeah, I do it because who two and you shall say, Nya a cousin and cousin papa. A bia a juntufono and cousin papa. And I say, Pi bono and cousin papa prayer warren into what what, what two ways you will say, what fa a firm dear say. In two percent, and no a two pump, but so far as say a year woo 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 or suffer or woo so wa we soon obey and so far as a year woo ah or be potty empower them. And I say at the end of the day, and you know, yam shabby ever bar mountain, you're about to watch any. They will stand up against you. And so when it happens like that, should you ah say nipa woo ya on your cup with you on your beef, you know, and will say who cost one. Should you continue with the with the assignment? I I don't know how to page man. I was so to ask one. Sometimes this is a very deep question. It goes in both ways. Sir, if really you are the leader of the church, then you have a better chance to continue. But if you are not, you are the leader of the church. Then you have a better chance to continue. But if you are not, and the leader is not backing you, you cannot succeed. You are gonna end up quitting the church, or you will be frustrated. I'm telling you. So who now is of opinion idea? And yes, and you know, you will be order from above. But then you will know yourself, Payina, that's of Payino and Marco. And now, in the year in Marco, you have to stop. You can, and yeah, yeah, or best because when you say, Oh, dear, you know, you're gonna be a threat to him that you're taking up the church. The church is going to be yours. People are looking up to you that you are the best person. No, they feel threat, they don't know that. Bible now can say the spirit, you know, you never work here, boom, together. No, they will stand up against you. If you are not a, the man in charge of that church or the woman in charge, it's better the moment you realize people are standing up against you for a good thing you want to do, man, brother, man, sister, stop doing it because you will get more enemies. Don't think you're doing the work of God. They will suck you from the church. Definitely, that will be the end result of you. Mm. Mm. I have experience, and I know a lot of, I know a lot of experience, that have come to me and I know what I'm talking about. Mm. And this is supposed to be the, the, the best religion according to uh, 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 historians. That's correct. This is supposed to be the oldest religion, mm -hmm. if not one of the oldest. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, that's why now most people are seeing Christianity as a religion and as entanglement. 
as we entangling ourselves or finding ourselves slaves to other gods or slaves to other people's precept and understanding. Say, because, say, you, 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 it, it, it's like a way of life. It's a way of life. And so at the end of the day, you know, we are restricted solely to that particular kind of way. That say one or so forth. It, it, it's, it, there, there is a way also or so forth dressing. Mm -hmm. So the whole perception said, this is the way that a person is supposed to be dressed. Not typically, but then when typically you come to the set of with the Africans, and the Africans in the diaspora, say, oh, so forth, yeah. look at the way you're dressing. And how was a soap or so for supposed to dress? Send also so for dressing. Send also so for mommy dressing. You know, the other day I was having a conversation with my friend, and before he got married, said uh, uh, the way he he was pursuing and just convincing the wife, the now wife, but the then girlfriend to get married because of all the news that the the wife now has heard about a so for mommy. Say Jumani Yeah. A so for mommy Jumani and that form. It's even tougher than being a pastor. That's correct. Because at the end of the day, you, know, you are the backup. Yeah. If the man is going down, you got to stand in and back up. Yeah. I'm sorry, I saw for whom for now. You have to get yourself ready and go and minister. Hallelujah. Amen. And at the end of the day, you know, I see the wife was with the view say, uh, uh, there's a way uh, I will say, I saw for my own uh, uh, the, the way I was on Kasa, and on the only prepare say, uh, uh, she's not gifted in that kind of way of talk or that kind of dressing. Say, oh, so I mean, don't mean share jeans with your man. So she was reluctant to marry my friend because, say, oh, I can't worry yourself, you know, now I'm a soft mommy title, no. The way I treat her soft mommy, no. And I saw for no more romantic. I saw for no romantic, you know, I'm a non romantic pastor, you know, I'm a romantic pastor. You know, Christianity, this time around, people were. Uh, Talking too much about religion and Christianity as well, because uh, almost is the Christianity per itself you now have become a, a business mm. aspect. Because when you got into Christianity and you become a pastor, sure you get few people together, and every Sunday you get money here and there and buy Range Rover and mm -hmm. something to make yourself look better than the <laughs> other the ordinary congregation. Mm. Now one time na me Ghana and I visited my friend a pastor. A very big church, very, very big, a bigger than the Pentecost that is here. Mm. And it was Wednesday he was doing program. So the moment now me do one or see man crane said, me ba ne sure, na man crano so. Then he, he told me, say, my bani the obey jai pop it na mama kasaka crown. But me called na Mr. James and me sneakers. <laughs> and I miss me regular t shirt kick. American burger is yeah. now. And to me see me tina the church members, no no, and to me cut now. To you introduce me now for him and say, ah, what kind of guy is this? That's what for address it. But at the end of my message, you know, they realize no, no, this guy has something to tell us. It's not about the dressing. People <laughs> stood up and they are crying. So in the church, you know, like you said, you no, know, people in the poor time, you now they said that they changed their mind and they realized that he is or he was God. The point is, Paul didn't go and do anything just miracle or show off. There is something took place that make people realize that this man is a changed man. Mm. Oh, and near me be a see any more moons or sister. Anti Christianity, no, it's about change your mm. attitude, mm. it's about stop what you are doing that does not praise God, mm. it's about doing things for the other person to know that no, you are a change man, a change for positive aspects. Mm. It's about doing something which is good, it's not that we we'll go blow horn. Okay, yes, I am a big prophet now. We'll friend the person will be amra. People should look up up to you as a changed person. Into a musha yano, a mumu said Paul was his son. On a near friend of Saul, no. But this time around, no, he's no more Saul. Into Christianity, no, it's not about getting people together in the a, a few place that you call it a church auditorium and then making big deal out of nothing. Into Nippano, a change. Or see, they change their mind. They realize something, something different have took place in Paul's life. He was no more Saul. Mm. So, me ni ano mo amoko a Saul no. Me sira mo. Se musi mu di Jesus ne chia. Papa i mo ametu no. Ni ni mo oyetu wano zuni ano na mo ye. Mo 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 ding na mo nsesa. Na ni pe People should look that you are changing, not you. Mm. 
because they say the beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So people who are looking up to you have to see that beauty that is coming out from you. Amen. They saw it in Paul's life. So prove to them. That's why he said, let your light so shine before Amen. men. So he cannot light a light and hide it under. He have to be on the candle stop to give people a light to go when there is a darkness. You are at the light and you are the salt of this earth. If you lose your taste, you profited nothing. Mm. It's better we go and bring a sea water and put it and eat. Jesus. Let's change our attitude. Mm. Let's change our behavior. Mm. Man of God, keep on continuing. Asafo just made a, a wonderful point. You know, when the people realized that Paul, ch Paul, 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 they changed their mind, they changed their perception yeah. towards Paul. Paul didn't do anything unusual for them to have a change of mind. Paul didn't preach for them to change their mind. Now, the perception, the old idea that they had about Paul was that Paul was a murderer. That was an established fact. It was a fact that Paul was a murderer because he persecuted the church. He murdered them. But one thing that they still don't understand, that behind the murderer, there was a changed man. Correct. And so all that they knew about Paul was so. They didn't know him as Paul. They knew him as so, the murderer. But Paul... The servant of God. That was what they didn't realize. That there was a reason why that this man did not die on the sea. Mm -hmm. There was a reason why when the viper fastened around his hand, he didn't fall down dead mm -hmm. as they perceived and they assumed. Because by a, 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 a precept, it is a, a very known fact among them that if you should have the venom wrapped around your hand, there is no way that you're going to survive it. No, 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 no. They knew that by all means you are a dead man. And so that is why they all began to take few steps back. And they, they, they were watching, they were beholding him. That the adventure immediately, suddenly, you will fall down dead. But the Bible said they look on, they look on, they still were looking at Paul, and Paul was still doing what he was doing because he knew who he was and what he was doing. And he continued, he never stopped. But the Bible said they were looking and looking and looking, and they were watching their watch, they were marking time, only to realize that Paul was still standing. And the Bible said when they realized this, they changed their mind. And they didn't just change their mind, they said, no, this guy must be a God. That's correct. How could someone that you knew to be a murderer now turn to be a god? That's correct. And so, as Osofo said, that Paul had a change in attitude when he had a divine encounter with the Lord Jesus. Paul was a changed man. And so, this applies to us. It, it, it doesn't matter if we are Christians and we'll be praying, we'll be doing 21. You know, there's so many fasting period now. Right, right after our uh, crossover, so many churches are engaging in uh, 21 days, 14 days, 7 days fasting and prayer. But yet, it is very, very important that you engage in this thing. But if you don't have a change in attitude, if you don't have a change in your life, a change in your character, they won't change their mind. That's great. Because the same old that they know you is still doing the same old things. The same old you keep on doing the same old thing. So how then do they change their mind if you haven't changed your attitude? You can only have them change their mind by what they see you do now. Because you are still doing the same old things. And there is no way that they will change their mind because you are still doing the same old thing. And you're still giving the same old perception about you. Mm. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. A change in attitude. Yeah. Change in attitude. Mm -hmm. It is a call to a change, a call to living like Christ. Mm -hmm. If we cannot live like Christ and live a new life, in the book of Second Corinthians, that behold, we are a new creation. How are we then a new creation if we cannot live a new life? That behold, all things are part and everything is old. How then does everything be rendered old when we are still living the old life? So the people change their mind. They change their perception towards Paul. They didn't change their mind around Paul. They didn't change their mind or perception about Paul by virtue of prayer. 
Paul didn't pray or preach for them to change their mind. The Bible said, by their fruit you shall know them. By their fruit you shall know them. That's correct. Mm. It's, it's very, 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 sometimes it's sudden me to a point that when you go to churches, even the most uh, bad things or like I would say, sins that happen in the churches or commit in the churches, it's not even the, the, the most dangerous one, it's not the regular members. The leaders in the church, mm. those that they call them presiding elder, elder, deacon, pastors, we are the people that are doing certain things that should not be done in the church. But sometimes when you look at it, you, you stand back and you just wonder. No, no, you shook your head and say, is this really a, a, a Christianity that they're talking about? Is mm. taking people to heaven? That heaven going to be so much chaos over there? When you say, oh, shit, I saw it in the man, I'm going Maybe I will hope. Until now, maybe the my my friend, one of my uh, bosses, told me that you grab a bull by his own horn. Mm. So, who person would chase a bull? Now, what do we say? What did he teach? And a pim to who born when he saw the horn no more? With me, I did not show. It means I use the same Bible, then I hate the churches and the pastors. I that's that's why, and I'm keeping on hating it. Until we stop, mm. or either the church is not good; it was invented, or if it's good, uh, really from God the Almighty, then this is not what it's supposed to be, mm. because God is not an altar of confusion now. Now, God, there is so much confusion in the church, so sometimes it makes me wonder. No, 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 no. You nyame na obo asiru ba sasi no. I don't think so. Obe ti kubi ati si, because your more Christianity. I yes sad. I'm telling you, Yamana is sad. You know, uh, it's about time that they say the people change their mind. Because why? They saw changes in Paul's life. And to you, the pastor, or the church people, you got to change your mind. And the people, you have to make some positive aspect. People should see something in you that you have changed. And then they also can change their mind up or their perception about church and the way they speak about church. Se ni pa be sole ake e jaye ke se tia e wo kristo suma na se a sole ya. E wo zo mou se a sole na se san se di wo mou mpo se wa se san no. And they call him God. Then they will call the church a good name. But right now there as I'm speaking here. The church or the reputation of church or religion is way down below my foot. Trust me it's way down. I speak as a fact. E nye 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 baby abe ko biya ye boding. I'm very ashamed to call myself a reverend. Mm. You know, because it doesn't work with. For some of them, be a minionum binumu ye, yenma so for church members, you know. I a business per se, you know, I a I no business. And you know, yeah, 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 share so for two or so and two hours. So yeah. So I I I don't know if we have to equate this to the the percept or the character of the church folks. Say, say, who were you come just into? You see your tardy fee ever bunting. That's correct. You see your tardy fee and you see and to my few are bunting. Some of the issues that are going on in the churches that the world is getting to know about it. Something that is going on in our churches, maybe somewhere, somehow, there was a misunderstanding, some care, some confusion going on. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you realize, say. The outsiders that got to know about the whole situation mm -hmm. heard it from the members of the congregation. Thank you. So then why are the church members carrying the issues of the church outside? You hardly hear the secret society members coming out, exposing the dirt of their secret society. You hardly see or hear the Muslim talking down on their religion based on something that is going on in their mosque. That's correct. You never hear it. So why say with the unkawa sorry no something that is going on? I'm sorry, but now what Tamsa said if you are sorry about Bonte. We have to change the attitude. We have to change. Yeah, na ye go as sorry no so ego fin. 
and the way that the church is being uh, administered, just the members carrying issues here and there. And, you know, if we have to let the church stand on its feet back to the days of old, how it was actually vision, then we have to also protect the image of the church. That's correct. And even as we are protecting the image of the church, the leaders of the church have to protect the image of the church and the image of themselves. Because if their image of their, or, 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 or their uh, 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 what's the word, uh, their, the values of the church has been compromised to the selfish gain of the leaders. As we can say, you see so many young guys out there, your friend in prophet, your friend in pastor, yeah, your friend, yeah, yeah. you know, some of them, the, the fact said, the easiest way to make money is to start a church. Yeah, especially in Africa. In Africa. Yeah. Classroom, Biana will say, I saw you pure classroom. Yeah. Because this, you know, it, it, it's, it's very, very appalling, very, very pathetic in these uh, uh, our last days. Yeah. The churches are even becoming, you know, in every corner that you can see a church, it, 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 it's blowing mind. It's blowing mind. It's true. The churches are not even being open more than even a, 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 a what's the name a bodega. Yeah. In every corner, you're supposed to see a bodega, but not in every corner you see in a church. That's correct. The churches are numbering even the bodega, the, the daily stores in a in our neighborhood. That's correct. You see, the, the point is that you said something that um, I think we have to discuss this and then to take up even my time. We, let's discuss this until we end up here and, and until we finish. You say something that uh, they say when you see you go and find her tab on thing. Mm -hmm. Literally, uh, you don't wash your dirty clothes and uh, hang it outside for people to see how dirty you are in your house or in your closet. But in, in, when it comes to churches, sometimes it's not about that aspect. Mm -hmm. It's not about people bringing the issue in the church outside to unbelievers to know. But it's our attitude, the way we compose ourselves or we behave outside wow. the church, portray the church that it's not that I'm going to church, my, 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 the outside people who I'm working with them that, oh, my pastor have a wife, but the pastor have a girlfriend. Oh, my, my pastor's wife have a boyfriend cheating behind. It's not about that. But my attitude outside the church mm. make people look that the church is dirty. I'm not bringing the issue outside, but the way I portray myself, myself the way I do with other followers who doesn't go to church. You see, the Bible says that we shouldn't be equally yoked with unbelievers. unbelievers. Therefore, this here is the case. When people see people who are not the same believe with them, they treat them like they are nothing. Mm. They read the Bible literally. Mean that when they do something which is contrary to your belief, don't associate with them. But you should rather convince them to come to know Christ or your belief. They, they, they don't understand the Bible or what. So, Nippon Air Kwa Solono, the Ewa Bunting, me wa a solid, me a church elder. I'm the elder of the church. Me Kwa Sola, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Me Bethia, the same wife that sleep behind me. I'm hitting the wife. Mm. The neighbors see that I'm just came from church Sunday simply because I want to eat fufu and the wife cook rice and I'm fighting with my wife. You see, you when you do this, you didn't bring any dirty from the church. But you rather are dirty in the church and your attitude is portraying the church as a dirty organization. Jesus, have mercy, Lord. You made two vital points. Now, yeah. the first one, sir, the, 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 the life that we portray outside, the Bible says, <laughs> We are see for no omu nim timer, Oma be can buy bono. Debi 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 debi. Into ya bra bono, e ya she she. Emma, we are see for no. Into say omu she is so, we are see for e she is she she. Address your mum. Whatever they see is what they want to emulate. But me me into me show a bra bo a mia ma jimono. Me no Christoni. Say what we yo Christoni po a bra bo ni a bra bo fin we di mempe. It is a sana sorry tea dear. And there, my mean to me, baby. Thank you. Sunday so I'm a call me beach. Sunday so I'm a call me 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 party. What call me beer? I'm a call me beer. Because a brabona would dead in and trust say, I'm a sumni and I say, Christian, a brabona. But so moon need time. A Bible to see. We have to, because our lives are like a mirror for the unbelievers to watch. That's good. 
So therefore, let your light so shine before men right. that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That's correct. It's it's not it's not a, it's both ways. Sometimes people will bring it, but the most thing is what yeah, you just said. No. That's correct. Because mm. the people, like you just said, Paul went over there, they didn't preach. But they saw some changes. Mm. And then Christopher him and the world son them because they are going in there because the pastor is been telling them on the radio station and the TV station, come and you go to America. Come and you get a husband. Come and you will be rich. Instead of the, the pastor to carry the message of changing life, love your neighbor. Let's live a life of legacy. Let's embrace everybody. No, the pastor is not doing that. So all they are going to church to do is not for changing. It to be a rich person to go to America, to go to UK, to get a husband, to get a wife. It's simple. And to walk up. Now we are Then now we saw far from the Susaka. We are in yes. God only be generous on them. We can say God has blessed me. No, we are insulting that God. And you know, it's it's just like that. The pastors don't go with the right message to the people. And now, now no, in that aspect. Now, before I come to that, the second point you made says sometimes no. Yeah, Christopher, no, we treat. People that don't share the same belief with us differently. Yeah. Say so far, I nipa no onye Christoni, I oye Kremoni, and I say oye abon some sum ninte no. We we we. You know, there was once a. Uh, Mikai uh, said, uh, there was an issue rising now, in my village, because we celebrate the Kente festival, mm -hmm. uh, from the west side there, a uh, down side. I got him equipped with. We celebrate the Kente Festival. Now, here lies the case. I saw a couple of friends mm -hmm. that were in Ghana were posting pictures whilst we were celebrating Halloween in America. Uh huh. And they were celebrating Halloween in Ghana. That's correct. I'm like, how then do you celebrate Halloween in Ghana? You don't even know what Halloween is all about. That's correct. Why would see Ghana no? We celebrate Halloween. But when it comes to our tradition, beholding our tradition, our cultures, our values, and like the Kente Festival, we want to brand it as a Bosom Sunya. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Asemo wakapano. Yeah, your culture now. You be born here. Yeah. Oh, we don't move culture. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, you know, it, it, we, we are living in the generation of Christianity that mm -hmm. has benefited us all on equal side. Yeah. But then we were having our own cultures before the introduction of Christianity. Thank you. Even say, see, yeah, yeah, your culture and yeah, bosom swa. Is there any way we can rebrand it? And get rid of the abosum suit and so hold on to our culture because our culture and value is what defines us as who we are, even as Africans in the diaspora. You know, our culture, I'm, I'm sorry to cut, I'm a, our culture, when they're talking about abosum or oh, idolatry, as the Bible will say, idol, uh, the abosum, it's when they come to a point that the children of Israel they gather themselves together and correct all their earrings mm -hmm. and build something that they, they say this is the God that we are worshiping. Mm -hmm. And no some some but there is no way our culture say some of them poor labration is even in the Bible. Jacob did it. Yes. You know, so your culture say what can a the festival in here, man. You see, God that who created mankind define you by your culture. Mm -hmm. Even religion must be based on your culture. That's what you identify with. Exactly. You see, in you know, can Ethiopian change their color? No. We can. But here's the case. Let me, let me give you one example. One day, now, I'm in Kromaya, baby, I'm here, Juma. Yet more nursing home now. Sometimes, I'm here, guess no more, I'm here, 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 i am since then, Oma Jami Adrian and Emma, and I'm saying, Udo and Abo, and I'm crying, and I'm and yet the be an amiji. Some people give me more idea, tell us in what idea. And the one day, no, never fact, now I was very hungry, and I'm here say, me preach you Omo. Now I'm a copy, be a dim quiet. Then I catch him say, Oh, me me say, 
asolinye me enti no adua no Jesus e dia enti o mo ma me enti o el enti me hwa 3 days na me kan na me kan ze mo enti be ya me ka christofo asem you have made christianity a wicked generation enti christofo na o mo so mo ma odwane ne enti no yeah because i speak against the church and the way they make jesus look like shit i'm sorry to say i'm sorry my language oh and i speak and i speak it i told them that we the christian make the religion of no use yenya yesu man da bia me ka me de se me ka sara me ka se bia me me try say me bi o money no ma se so no and i me ka say o mama jesus say are useless and jesus is useless now we can you cannot use jesus anymore he's useless because pastors if they think jesus is usable they will never go and build altar and underneath kill human flesh and bury it over there. So what did Jesus know yet? I don't know how to do it. Until you make Jesus useless. And Jesus has become useless in the church. And I, I tell them, Omu from Haiti. When they go to Haiti, I do voodoo against you. And I can't speak it. That you make Christianity useless. And Jesus is useless. And church is useless. Because you are done it, you know. Get I'm not catching straight. Oh, you don't like church. You speak again in church and Jesus. This food Jesus is inside. I'm not giving you. Oh no, of course, lo and behold. Since then, they refuse to give me food. Even though I go with food, sometimes I I I, I they see me. And they So the other day, just was tired last last week Thursday. I told them straight. Me, I listen, Pastor, you don't know me. When even at the point of death, I will tell you my mind. How I feel, how it's truth. If you don't like it. I told them straight. I said, you people, I told you all the time that you make Christianity wicked. When somebody told you that they don't believe your Jesus, you want the person dead. Mm. You, oh, you're going to die because you refuse to believe in Jesus. How? That's not what Jesus uh -huh. told us. Oh, and the guys say, oh, true. They tell you the truth. If you don't believe in Jesus, you're going to die. I said, why is Pope John Paul? He was worshiping Jesus and even his mother Mary. Why is he? He didn't die? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you read the Bible literally. You don't understand. And I said that, that because since I spoke about the church and the activity, the things that we're doing in the church, that doesn't please God. You guys, when I came to give me even the porridge or even one egg, you're going to put in the garbage. You tell me that because I speak against church and religion, you're not going to give me food. You see how you are? You see, when I went to the room, they saved food for me. I said, no, I don't want it. So if I didn't tell you what you are doing is wrong, you're not going to give it to me. I don't want your food anymore, but I'm telling you, you need to change. If you go to church like this, there is no heaven that you're going. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. So, like I said, our life that we portray out, uh, outside, after church, even the pastors, yes, mm -hmm. it does not praise God. So Jesus, you know, if really he is good, or we say what Jesus came and did, we are doing the same thing, we make him useless. So anybody now talk about Jesus, they are right, because we ourselves make Jesus useless, mm -hmm. and he is useless now in the church. You know, that, that, that's very, very uh, uh, true to the point, sir. In the book of Acts, when uh, 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 Christianity was first introduced, mm -hmm. They just saw them and identified them with Jesus. That's correct. Even when Jesus was arrested at the point of crucifixion, when Peter was seen at the scene, he said, Ah, who can you see for ah. It's not just by the way um, who said, they saw him somewhere with him before. Yeah. But then the way this guy carried himself, his posture mm -hmm. tells them that he was different mm -hmm. from the other guy that was standing close to him. Exactly. So side by side, pace by pace, so we hear Christoni, wabra bonu etre. There is a man that's an identification on you. They can identify you. Yeah. Uh, you with another person side by side, close, they can tell us, so we hear and so we hear Yeah. And so that's the, so the, the source said the guy that was standing next to him doesn't look like one of those of Jesus. Good. But on three different occasions, they say, ah, are you not part of his followers? He said, me. Me who he put that. Even he denied. 
three times. But they still know that. They still know that. No, the guy, there's something about him that reminds them or tells them that he's part of the followers of Jesus. It is a bravo entimintre, entimintre, Jesus Christ, the suban edia. Then if we are preaching about him now as a wukano, then it's actually useless. Exactly. If they, they cannot see Christ in us, yes. then how then are we going to talk to them about Christ? Exactly. If you can't see Christ in me, how can I talk to you about Christ? Exactly, like a Matthew Jackson. The guy was a black guy. He preached to become a white. But you can see that he's still a black guy mm. for some reason. Now, the reason, one of the reasons also I would say that we made Jesus useless in the church. The Bible says, Jesus said that, if you believe in me, whatever I'm doing, you will do you greater will do than greater. this. In my name, you will do it. In Jesus' name. Now, when you go to church, the pastor will give you anointing oil. Mm. Is it Jesus' name? They will give him kuto. They sell him. So, instead of doing it in Jesus' name, we will do it in the name of anointing oil. Mm. So, even the pastors that worshiping Jesus, they themselves a portraying, they telling you that Jesus is useless by the way they sell mm-hmm. oil, by the, sell, the way they sell bracelets. They tell you that go and Jesus will protect you. And they have bodyguard. So what they doing make we think that no, Jesus is useless. It, it's not what I'm saying. It's portraying. It's by what it's, they do. Exactly. If Jesus said do it in my name, why do you do it in uh, Ojari Obiba? Why are you doing by selling anointing oil and say go and bring Think about it. Jesus said you will do it in my name. Simple. Jesus' name. And then the thing happened. But because of you, the way the life you live, that Jesus' spirit or the spirit of righteousness is not in you, you cannot do things in the name of Jesus. Mm. So you rather go for another way. So you yourself, Pastor selling anointing oil in Kuto and here and there, make Jesus useless in the church. And you make Jesus useless, and he become useless in the church. Mm. I, I, I had a program the other day, I think two years ago, and was dubbed back to the Bible, back to the Bible, that where are the powers of old? Uh-huh. Where was the power that Moses, who can watch him, uh-huh. <laughs> where was the power that Moses had yeah. in the days? Yeah. So which man of God in our generation can be compared to Moses? No way. Moses was incomparable. No, no way. So what makes Moses different or the men of all, the anointing they had, the power they had, the hand of God that was resting upon them, Mm -hmm. what made them different Mm -hmm. from our generation? Mm -hmm. And the question is, aside from individual churches that are thriving to live on the legacy of Christianity or to, 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 to continue holding the torch line, is there any future for the church? The church have no future. Like you said, Moses, like you said, he was able to turn a biakeke or turn it into a snake. And they are so forward a bit more. Like you said, even we cannot even do what John the Baptist did. John the Baptist didn't do any miracle. He was just preaching the good message for people to turn their way to God, to turn from their evil doers. But we are not doing John the Baptist. How can we do Moses? For you to be like Moses or Elijah, we step have to do, first step is to do righteousness. Do like John the Baptist. Changing mind, changing the atmosphere to be a good now, you can so It's been written in the Bible. You can't see it now, mm. and you can never see it because the heart of mankind is depart from the Creator. How then do we go back to this day? How it's in Jeremiah 6, 16 or sixteen six. It says, it says, stand and look for the old path, the old mm. ways." That's one when you read the book of Isaiah, is it Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20, 21, somewhere. He said, The remnant shall be saved. The few who will know the truth, they are the people who is going to be saved. And who are the few? And one saddest thing is when you know the truth and you're telling your own black man, they they call your name and they curse you. Especially we the black men. We don't want to be told the truth. So the line is always ruling on our be on, on top of us. That's why we get those leaders that they will do that to us. Because they know we don't want to hear the truth. Hey, we are many news we can. We be TV say as of we do money the omoka. Some people will tell you we're looking for money, you say uh, righteousness. They don't care. 
It's all about bring your money to me. Now the pastors, that's what they want. So they can celebrate their wife's birthday. Some of the pastors, they get pregnant and they, listen, Pastor B of California, John Gray. Ah, one only will be a coach in Pena. Ah, what fast? Only seeker 200,000 at the apartment unit. Look at this. That's all we seek out. You see, look at this. It's the same, it's going on everywhere. I heard some pastors in Ghana impregnated one of the women be, behind their wife and they just close their mouth. They send the, the uh, uh, Obana or Munina and Yamano, or must send it to abroad. And Oma Akapatani, oh, what kind of muscle will be good? And a sister or Mumu. Do you think the truth will hide forever? No, it will always prevail. The truth will always turn up tall. Oh, it doesn't matter how lie you lie. People cannot be stay in darkness forever. The light, one way or the other, God will find a way to light the light shine. Mm. One way or the other, He will mm. expose the, 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 mm. the lies. He said the only way that we can go back to the days of old is to find the old path. Correct, Jeremiah said it. Let's it, find the old path. He says, stand path. at the corner and ask the old path that your ancestors, when they walk on it, and if that's why you will get a one now being young quanji. I had that nominate my wife eh, 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 doing come on. And I was in tea. I nami pe old testament. I nami pe old testament in same casa. And I'm saying, listen, babe. One thing I'll say, who tia say any say. The old testament is a shadow of the reality. That's correct. The Bible said, without the law, there is no knowledge of sin. Mm -mm. Say a mranu e nywa na boninsu e nim die e ni ho. Because a mranu a e bae no, e ne che se se wu ye wu ya, wat u mra. Wu e ne be ba mo. Wu e ne be ba. Now, when Christ came, Christ said he didn't come to abolish the old. Yeah. Christ came to fulfill the scriptures. That's correct. He didn't come to fulfill the new testament. Yeah. He came to fulfill the Old Testament, which is the old path. Yeah. Now, those were the principles or the precepts that God actually laid down for us to walk on. Yeah. Now, when Christ came, he came to make visible the shadow because we were in the dark. The Old Testament was in the dark. Now, most of us read the New Testament and don't understand mm -hmm. because we know no knowledge of it in the New Test in the Old Testament. Now, there are so many things the New Testament is saying that was a direct quote from the Old Testament okay. or based on what the Old Testament actually said. So, no knowledge of the Old Testament will give you no idea, no understanding. Of, of the, the New, New Testament. Testament. And I will kind of say, Bible near can literally because yeah. New Testament near can try. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Because Nintias and in the Fapem, no, it was Old Testament. Correct. And then I have a, 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 a reference in Quran. Me or Quran, you know. Uh -huh. Now, the reason why I got into Quran said, <laughs> Not me, a uh, uh, spiritual father, <laughs> yeah. Prophet Prince William Labi. Uh -huh. Ni never for be brain, I'm a Muslim for. Yeah. Ni spiritual father, no, you're a criminal. Yeah. And I'm a sacra. No? Good. And say he has worked with Muslim, yeah. he has read the Quran, and has do comparison. And since then, me working with him and fell under his hand, I started studying the Quran. It's good. Now to see what the Quran says in relation to what the Bible says. Exactly. And how do they understand what they read from the Quran? And if I read what they are reading from the Quran, what's the difference from what is in the Bible? And you'll be surprised, said the Old Testament have majority of the words in the Holy Quran. That, yes. Yeah. The Quran is basically like 99% of the Old Testament. Of the Old Testament. Yeah. It's like 90%. You see, the reason why I hear treaty on moi, on moi, near Christopher, because on my Christopher, because you the Bible now. Say, I will count first. Say, we treat those that don't share the same belief with us differently because say, you the Bible now. Say, you can't Old Testament, you can't the book of our Quran. We'll see, say, it is the same thing, but the worst, if you read it and understand, you see, say, the same thing that in the Quran, the same thing in the Old Testament, yeah, yeah, and then we also talk about uh, uh the life of John the Baptist. See, John the Baptist, one year century, no, but no, no, the no, Bible no. said, among all born of women, yes. there is none greater than, him. than John the Baptist, yes. And the question is, then, at John the Baptist, a yeah, yeah, nothing. Mm. 
Don't the Baptist. Just change your mm. mind. Musa Kramadio, Musa. That's all. But Jesus said he was one of the greatest among all, whom mm. was born by a woman. Mm. You see, and you know, uh, the whole thing, like you said, this topic that you raised today is changing mind. It's very good. Even not even in Christianity or religion. It's in our house. Mm. The way we rule the country, the way we rule the nation, in our leadership position, in our workplaces, we need to change our mind. Some people go to work simply because I have to pay my bill. No, the Bible said, Bibi Biara won't sabe some way. So so don't go to the work and thinking that oh I'm going to do it anyway because at the end I, I have to pay, pay my bills. bill. No, go and see that I'm working in a nursing home. There is an old man or old woman over there mm. that need to care for. And I am the one who is going to let them feel happy. In the future, I'm going to be old. Don't think Don't because be I need position. the money, so I have to drive a car. Think that there is somebody who is sitting behind my car. What I have to drive his life is at this point, me and that guy's mm. life is in my hand. If I drive careless, I'm going to kill them. Mm. So I have to care about that people, not because I have to run and go and come back and get my sis mm. and also get trouble. Mm. Don't do that. Don't think because I'm a president of Ghana or a leader of this country and I have to look out for my family. No, think about it that even after I die and go, one of my forefathers or my ancestors will never get a chance to ascend to this position. He will be a regular guy on the street. Mm. So if I put a good plan and message in place, it will to benefit my future generation. Don't think because that he doesn't go to a Christian, he is not my uh, mom. Think about it that that Muslim, that you don't like him over there or her, he is a human being. In case something happened to him, it will affect you. Mm. If one day you didn't take care of them and they start taking a gun and shooting and be unrobbed, they can come to your house. So change of mind is not only in the church. In everywhere, all aspect of life, when you're driving on the street, it's not because it's my turn to go. Change your mind and be like, somebody can drive reckless. So I need to be very careful about people on the street. Mm -hmm. So change of mind, my brothers and sisters, listen to the outside there. It's not only in the church. It can be found in your house, your workplace, your relationship, your friendship with others, the way you speak to people, the way you compose yourself, the way you portray yourself, the way you talk. We need to change our mind because the Christianity have made Jesus and religion useless. I'm sorry. This takes a. I'm not going to speak today because the message that you brought when you was preaching, I was praying and I was meditating on the word and then jotting some things down. And I can we can go on and go on and go on. We're not gonna finish today. It gives me so many references in the Bible that we need to change our mind. Eh, even Pharaoh, the Bible says he hardened his heart. Mm. It came to a point he changed, he said, No, you guys have to go. <laughs> so even if you're Pharaoh, listen to me outside there, and you have a stony heart, please, please, I'm pleading with you for the benefit and the for sake of the society to live in a good life with each other. Change your mind. Let people see change in you. You know, I, I was listening to an interview the other day with one of the celebrities. And uh, 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 one thing that he said, you know, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. He was like growing up in his hometown, Hawaii. Yeah. One thing that his old his father told him that it is very very good to be important yeah but it is also important to be, to good. be good yeah at the end of the day it doesn't matter who is the recipient of your goodness that's correct it doesn't matter who is on the other side of the fence mm -hmm. if you are good you are good to all yeah now bible says in so top in so top go a papaya for any abonia yeah, for yeah. so so if you're gonna be good you don't want to be good just to the people of your cycle mm -mm. if you are really a good person you are good to all it doesn't matter who is being the recipient of your goodness that's correct you are good irrespective of who yeah. is on the other side yeah. so it really does pay you know th this whole perception if 
and as I say, a mouth for Benya, I drink such a hour, Yami Sumwa. It depends on the way I ya, ya see a sum Yamino, Yabe Boya Brabwafa. Pepe. At the end of all this talk, though, this is what I just got it. Say, semi per se, or be embrace, Yami Sumo, and I say, me, 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 and I said, Cremonim, put my daffo cremoni. I'm better on bra. I'm sorry, not on besuma. What reason? What reason am I giving to that Muslim to come and worship with me in church? Is the church only restricted to the few that are already in the church? The Bible said, before Nyankupo Ebebano, not Nasemno, Ebeko Yasia Faninina. All the four corners. Yes. So if I want someone who is not a Christian, someone who is a traditionalist, someone who is an ekanka, someone who is a Muslim, says ombra na And I say ombra soria. A reason be na mi ma sani pano. Say on jai on nuni sum. Na ombe di meti ombe sum ni ame sum. Then I need to be home. You want to be a bit A jar on only dear. I own him, did that, did that. I'll meet your own. Did you be? Did you know more? No better. You know, so this has really called for uh, it, it, it's deeper than we actually think yeah. for us to be good and for them to even have a change of mind about Paul. For the islanders to have a change of perception, for the Muslims to have a change of perception of Christianity, say Christianity, no, and yes, for we are Sifono, Eben will say Christianity, no, and yeah, and yeah, and yeah, say, yeah, yeah, share your home. And I say, we have entangled ourselves in some kind of way in a sect, say, so far as we were a quo with Mono, you can't do this, you can't do that. But if that is what we are saying, what is the Bible also saying? Exactly. Regarding Sir Subino. Yeah. So we have to look for the old ways. Yeah. The old ways. Some of them is like the same man Jesus, who I'm going to give as a reference. When he came, the Bible says he was walking somewhere along the sea. And this man called Zebedee and his two sons was mending their net hmm. to go fishing. When they saw Jesus... They abandon their business mm. and they left their father. It's not because they look. You see, that, at that time they were looking for money, mm. fishing to go sell. They <laughs> will make money and they will eat some. So they abandoned the money that they were looking for and the food and came and follow Christ Jesus. Now people will go to Christianity to look for money. It's vice versa. That's the opposite now. Opposite way. Jesus. These people leave the fishing. They left they all going. the money. Correct. To to follow Christ. A, that was the job they were doing. They were their profession that gave them money to put in their pocket. There was simply no expectation how they were going to survive. No, following Christ. No, they don't know what tomorrow holds because this guy has even no house. No, no place for the son of man to lay his head. No, Jesus was not selling anointing oil. Huh. There was no money in his pocket. Jesus never had anything. He wasn't. He didn't promise them that let's go to the other side and play soccer, football, or basketball to make money. Mm. They were making money. They left the money and came and followed and follow this Jesus. poor man, knowing what we are going to eat in the tomorrow, knowing what we are we going to put in our pocket. But now the Christian and pastors go to religion to look for money. You see, they, they, they left their father and their money and they follow Jesus. Now it's not like that. We go to church. People cannot look at us and follow Christ. They can't, they can't. It's, it's not possible anymore. Even the pastors. The pastors, they making the money from the old, the same poor people, and at the end, when the poor people need help, they tell them, "Come, mm. nyami beye." You are the most people. Yeah, yeah. Nyami namni pasu na wa yeah. 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 Uncle, 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 did they? Proverbs say, "Do not tell your brother go and come tomorrow while you have it in your hand to help." God have mercy on us. We don't. Nyame be be you rather as a mouthpiece of God. Who na wey nyame ya no aye di wachi. Ense nyame be ya nka wo no wo to ya ma wo. Nka wo magi esika. Nti ye ba na ese ya hukire ya. Give us something to eat to survive that day. The pastor will tell you go and I pray for you and God will do it. And Prayers, take the little that yes. you have. Prayers like that, my brother, I'm sorry, pastor. It doesn't help. 
we should help the needy. As the, in the Bible says in the book of James, a good religion is to help the needy. So, on the Ayane South, it says, Ayesi Kasem, Sofu Bia Ayesi Kasem, Obi Owa, Okoka. I don't understand. Oh, in the meaning of Sofu, a Sofu, no, a word you may, Mrs. Eddy, I have them in Kamu. They have a good job to do. Omo wa juma ye pa 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 say say omo pese they have if they want the Christianity to sustain and stand on its feet, then they must change their mind from because say enama pra it start from the head. Oh, every root rooting meat or fish start from the head. So pastors, the leaders, the pope, the bishop, the prophet, the elders, the deaconesses, they themselves are speaking to them. They need to change. If they change, then the bottom will also change. Sana mi huni se sei. Because se manye so funi biya. In kamin timin kan wasem. But the moment I became a man of God and this is, I have seen that all the problem, 98% in the church is the pastor, the head pastors. Not the little ones. And if you are little and you started talking about it, forget it. You'll be out of the church with no time. They don't want to be told the truth. All they're looking is tight book. Looking at what Pastor Mensa is paying. <laughs> and then they can, oh, I'm tight to call And they come and they say, 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 it's in the church. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. And I said it, and I became an enemy. Not one place, multiple times. So I count myself, no, no, no. I don't think the church is good for me. I need to be a, 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 a solitary guy, a single man, one man against the world, to start bringing the people the truth, to open their eye. It's not about going, don't go to church, go. But I'm bringing you a message that will transform your life. Mm. Look at the man you follow. Is it leading to you to the heaven that you, you're waiting for, that you think is there you're waiting for? Or he's after your money? Take the, uh, wear them and take one, which one you want. The, the, the church has a societal responsibility That's correct. to bridge the gap between mm -hmm. the society mm -hmm. and the church. That's correct. The arms that we give, you know, most, I, I, I don't know why that the other religions participate in this, giving of arms, by our brothers and Muslims, when it's time for their festivities, they reach out to the community, the society. You know, growing up from, you know, I, I actually grew up from the, the, the Muslim community. Not really Zongo, but when we're talking about Kotobabi, we're talking about Alajo. Yeah. That was a typical, uh, 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 the airways and the guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, the and, and, yeah. and, and the Muslims community. You yeah. know, we're growing up when it's Salah time. You go into your Muslim friend's house and you'll be served good food. Thank you. You'll be served good food. Yeah. And then now, when it's our time, uh, let's say Christmas, yeah. how many our uh, friends, the Muslims, come to our house or we reach out to them? To give arms, because we don't to be open, good to them. We don't open our doors for them. We don't open our doors. We so much selfish, and for our own interests, mm. and we kind of comfort in our comfort zone. You know, it the the, the the whole kind of it make a lot of point, a lot of point that we must change this thing. Like I said, a Muslim. I, I was I work with Jews since I came here. Mm -hmm. I was working with Jews like twenty years. And one of the facilities I was working, they show me a lot of things. They teach me a lot of things. They open up to me in such a way that one of them told me that he want to take me to school. He want me to be an FBI because I'm so clever. I can be able to help the society to fight against crime. If something get lost in the facility and they can't find it, me, I was, I was able to do my investigation to find out who's stealing. And of course, we'll go to the person's house and grab it. Wow. Sometimes they feel that they may, maybe I was there when they steal it. No, <laughs> I have my way of doing things. So this rabbi, you know, they were Jewish guy. Mm -hmm. They they come, they want to sponsor me to go to school. I have witnessed, but I didn't go at that time. There was some reason I didn't go. Listen, you know what they do? They don't have offering bowl in their church. They don't have tight book. No, they don't. I know their 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 church. 
I was the one who clean, I organized the guys to go clean when they come to do Rosh Hashanah or Yom Kippur. We go clean it and do everything. Because I was a director over there. I organized my guys and we go clean it. They have, a, a, they have two bowls. They, they build it with a metal piece. Some of them is a wood. And they write their Jewish language, painted. Some of them is brown and gold. The brown is for a purpose. The gold is for a purpose. Every Jewish person, whatever, when you come, you drop money inside. You drop, and I ask them, what is it? You know what they do with that money? They go, they send it to uh, maybe orphanage. They, the brown go to another place. And when one of their children are going to get married, they tell you, they don't want you to come over there and help these people who are going to marry with just $200. The least is $500. Any Jewish rabbi, whoever come in, $500. So by the time they finish, they, uh, some of them give $5,000. they will be able to get like $80,000. i am saying it, I know. For the young couples that are coming, and they sit down with them. them out. Yes, and they sit down with them and they say, this is your uh, uh, capital. That you don't have to be poor in this life. Wow. And after they finish, both families, the guys from the bride and bridge room family, they are responsible to feed you for one year so that you may not touch that, that money. money. Wow. You see what they do? I'm, I'm saying, I know I can take you there, Brooklyn. Jewish. I, I work in Brooklyn. I work with the, 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 the what's the name? The, the Jewish. Yeah. The they Brooklyn. don't have Rabbi Stan, Rabbi Hashkis, Framawis. I know them. They are my friend. If, ever since I leave the building, they're still calling me to come over there and supervise for them but, but because an agency turned me over there. So I cannot leave the yeah. agency. If I'm no working on myself, uh, exactly, I can. So I, they, they open up to me. They teach me a lot of things. And they told me that you don't have to be Jewish to be saved. You are African. You can worship God in our religion, but you have to attach your culture. That will not offend God, your maker. They tell me. But when you tell the black man the truth, they don't like it. So, Seminia Ukowari, Nase, Ebusian Fuaba, Womo Babro bears a 50,000. Think about it. Namo Statimuniba, Mako Hindai. Na o mami ni me oba ni mami eh show mo dia ni amu bedi na mo fesika ni start ejuma you will never work for somebody that's why Jews don't work for anybody but here's the case religion we have tide book offering book so seed a coffee ni ama or selling oil when the pastor finish he take it to his house he doesn't help the people we should learn to help others until then the black man will continue to be under certain people for the rest of our life we need to wake up the religion is a very good tool for us to help others because for just uh two months but when you go to church you can be organized three thousand in just a day we need where is that money going it's to help the people but here's another case the pastor will take it you know it's it's I was telling my wife the other day about the way marriages and other stuff are going lately. You know, uh, 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 celebrations. Yeah. We try to organize and emulate what others are doing. Yeah. Not considering our own budget. That at the end of the day, no, omo omo bano, and yes, omo ba abe bwa. Let me see. Aye, ni anu ebi mu aye. Omo, and yes, omo ba abe bwa. Omo ba abe ji kitswa na u wongo. No muko mufi. Yeah. Uh, people go to the SN of me borrowing money. They yeah. borrow money for weddings. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, no, who they cut? What worries who they cut? You know, it, it, it's uh, you know we, we we have to really come to a point of realization. Say we have to live our life in such a way that others will have a change of mind, a change of perception about the body of Christ. Yeah. I'm so concerned about what is going on, especially if it comes to the church. Things that are not going the right way with my passion and zeal. It, it, it hurts sometimes to see things not going or things not being done right. And you, sometimes your hands are tied behind your back because you have leaders that are ahead of you. Yeah. You may be a, a, a core leader, but you have your senior pastor. Yeah. By which your hands are tied. You yeah. can't even effect any change. You may be a prayer warrior. Your hands are tied because of the leader in front of you. Somewhere, somehow, people that want to cause change in, in, in the churches have limited access or they, they, they are 
uh, 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 they are bound by the leadership and the 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 bureaucratic measures that are in place. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we also still believe that in our little small way, even if not in the church, at the end of the day, it's it's very, very good yes. to be good. Yeah. It doesn't matter where they're coming from yeah. because the whole idea is for the world to have a change of mind about the church. Yeah. And the future can only be relied on that if they have a change of mind and understanding of the church. At the end of the day, if not, then there's no future for the church. Yes. Because now the rate at which are, a sorry, a gunu is very, very, very worrying. Churches are collapsing and members are leaving churches. Some are not even joining other churches. They, they are just home. sitting home. Yeah. They sit home. They just stay home, which is very, very appalling. Yeah. And some have just started taking up Sunday shift. Even though they don't go to work on Sunday, yeah. they go to church. They, they don't go to work on now they go to work on Sunday for the extra money. Yeah. Because they'd rather not come to church, yeah. but rather to go to work yeah. and get some money. Which is, you know, very bad. Because at the end of the day, you know, if that Sunday is a uh, 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 Shabbat, if Sunday is a holy day, which we have to worship and serve God. Why then are we working on the Sabbath? Uh -huh. Whilst others hold their Sabbath, if Saturday is their Sabbath or Friday into Saturday is their Sabbath, they uphold the rules and regulations of the Sabbath day. And here lies the case with Christianity. There is so much lawlessness in Christianity. Yeah. We don't abide by the rules. Yeah. You see, one of, one of my a fellow pastor of mine called me some time ago when I started preaching, I didn't cry here. They call me and he said, So, who you said the way I was preaching, I didn't cry. Do you think are you going to make money by preaching this? Wow. And I told him, Listen, I'm not I'm into not money for the money. I'm not into that for money, even though I came to America looking for a better life, which involved getting money. money. But I'm working it by, by so doing. In my faithfulness and honesty, God will bless me to be a multi-millionaire. I'm okay. Even if not, and I don't own anybody, and my life is in my hand, and I'll be, I'll be able to put my children in the right path, mm. I'm okay. So don't call me for this anymore. The pastor called me about that and told me that I'm not going to make money. So, like you said, in our own small ways, we can also make the difference. Mm. We don't have to be like them or go to church or be in a church leader before you can make a change. But like you said, if you're trying to make a change, that would be positive change in the church. And the pastor see that he's not going to bring money, then forget it. He is not going to let you. It won't happen. And it never happened nowadays. The pastors, they don't like it. I, I, I used to go to a church that they, we started, when we start before, we have a common goal about not too much burden on the people. So just one day regular service, we take our tithe and offering, and then we go uh, in order for us to get some to pay bills and here and there. It was going on, okay, all right. And then all of a sudden, some people came to the church. The pastor got a friends. They started polluting him. We need to record the tithe. I said, the tithe book is not necessary. There is nowhere in the Bible that somebody have a tithe book. Let the person have their own free will. Free will. The Bible says, free shall he give and free shall he receive. And not a, not grant your necessity before a God love a cheerful giver. Like, at the end, the pastor see that no, if the people have a tithe book, he will be able to look at who is paying less and who is paying more. At the end, is that really necessary? It's not necessary. At the end, he didn't take my words. He went and print tight book. Though he gave me money, and I show him some place, I go and print it for him. And I told him that I am not going to record my tight. I don't have to let people see what I'm How doing. It's between me and society and God. That's my 10%. If my 10%, it's, it's a matter of faithfulness between you and God, yeah. not between you and the church, at and the, you and your pastor. At the end, they see that I'm opposed their money I'm the reason the money is not coming to the church they didn't let me feel happy in the church I have to quit myself I have to quit and I, I'm not regret that I quit I'm very happy now mm -hmm. right I'm free you know so mm -hmm. if you are a senior pastor like you said maybe we're sitting down here one day we'll become a senior pastors nobody knows God have a mysterious way of wisdom people 
as we are saying here, we also have to put in mind that when we become senior pastor and people are doing something and we think it's not good, we need to call them and find out the reason they do. It must be good or not good. We don't have to act because we think it's not good. You know, we could advise ourselves in the same way that we advise people out there. That we may be a good leaders. We may set an example. We may let people may know, let people know that there must be people outside there who can bring positive change. Not everybody is corrupt as we think. Positive. Yeah, it's it positive. is. You know, positive. Then we will do here, baby. Oh, so for uh, just uh, conclude. Uh, uh, what I'm saying is, I will say something. They will finish with that. What we are saying is this: If they said the Christianity have become something which is talked about in the not positive way but negative way, it's not only the pastors. But the pastors are the most one that people are looking up to us that we could bring change to people's life. So you are what you are born to. What you are born to. You are regular church member. No, we are not so so no. We are Let people see change in your life that they could call you God, like they did call Paul. And you know, as of one so no. Yes, so let's be free. If we are working for God. Let's do what God wants us to do. I don't think you're working in the post office and then the next day you go and work in the nursing home and expect it. No, no, no. Let's bring positive change to people. I end my case today. This topic, I'm not going to speak today. Next Saturday, you will hear me and Sunday, you will hear me again. Be a positive to other people. Mm. Let the people see the positive and uh, a, a good way. They portray yourself in a manner where people will see you as this is the guy or the woman I'm looking for. Be like Moses. Let people know your wisdom like Solomon. Let people know your truth, that you speak the truth. Or you're telling people to change their mind like John the Baptist. Feed people if they are indeed need food to eat. Don't be so stingy to them. Yanko po won't share no anything anymore. Maybe so for us. The Lord bless you. God bless you for joining us today. It has been a wonderful discussion time. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and they changed their mind. So when Paul escaped the tempest storm from the sea and landed on the island Melita or Malta, the Bible said the islanders showed them great deal of a favor kindle fire for them to keep them warm. Yes. But the Bible said when the fire was dying out, Paul went out to gather sticks and put into the fire to keep the fire blazing. The Bible said immediately venom viper came out of the fire and fastened around his hand. Yes. The Bible said and the islanders and those that were around him and around the fire saw that and they said no wonder this man is a murderer. Even though he escaped the sea, yet vengeance or justice will not let him leave. The Bible said they look on with a great war that he will fall down dead. But after they have looked on a great war and nothing happened, the Bible said, and they changed their mind and they said, maybe this guy is a god. Yes. It's our prayer this day that you have a change of attitude, a change of character, that you be good to everyone around you. It doesn't matter that your goodness is not restricted to the boundaries in which you are. Let your goodness extend beyond the boundaries. When you be with Jum Ayan Tokwa, Oniado for we and Yamisumi, we a Christoni, Wunini Koneko Boom. Yes. Hallelujah. When you be a Obusium and Kat Mayan Tokwa, please go and apologize. Let them see your good deed. The Bible says, let your good work be portrayed before men. Let them see your good work and glorify your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you in the power of his blessing. Yes. And this is God's servant, Pastor Justice Mensa, with uh, Reverend Obuso. Hallelujah. Amen. May, may the Lord bless you. Once again, this is Edinkra Radio. May the Lord bless you and may he keep you in the power of his blessing until we meet again. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen and amen. Stop the screen. No, no, go on. Was it, was it, go on. Stop the screen. It stopped.